what will replace the question mark in the following sequence now whatever sequence over here it is there if you observe carefully the numbers in between 8 64 125 and 216 you can observe this is nothing but 2 cube this is 4 cube this is 5 cube and this is 6 cube so definitely here we have to get 3 cube which is 27 okay so option a and option b get cancelled out completely okay so answer is between option c and d now if you observe the first letters what you have is v uh, definitely first letter has to be t okay so forget about the first letters what you are going to do is we are just going to observe the last letters or the uh, last part it is j then there is a blank then there is p then there is s and then there is v okay i'm considering only this part this part this part over here there is a blank and j okay between s and v okay uh, s t u and v two of them are skipped p q r two of them are skipped and then we get s so after j k and l will be skipped and m will be written over here then n and o will be skipped and p is going to come over here so the second in the second position or the last letter okay over here it has to be m so answer is option d t27 m Alicia was going to her friend's house. Starting from her house, she walked 100 meters east. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll consider this to be Alicia's house. Okay. She walked 100 meters towards east. So, this is 100 meters. Then she took a left turn and walked for 75 meters. So, she is taking a left turn and walking for 75 meters. This is 75 meters. After which she took left turn again and walked 110 meters. So, if this is 100 meters, so this is going to be about 110 meters so she is going towards left 110 meters okay then she took another left turn and walked for 155 meters so now she is taking another left turn and walking for 155 meters so this total is 155 meters this part which is there this is definitely 10 meters this part which is there till this point over here it is 75 meters and from this point till this point which is total now this total is 155 meters correct so this part this in between part comes out to be 80 meters because 80 plus 75 is 155 now she is over here she took a left final left turn and walked for 160 meters so she took a final left turn and walked for 160 meters so now she is 160 meters away to reach her friend's house so this is the friend's house right in which direction is alicia's house from her friend's house so from the friend's house in which direction is alicia's house it is northwest. So answer is option C. You don't even have to calculate the distance. Many a times you might feel that the answer is southeast. The question is in which direction is Alicia's house from her friend's house. So this is the friend's house. So if Alicia is standing over here in which direction is her house in the northwest direction. This is north. Okay. And this is west. This is the northwest direction. This is Alicia standing over here and this is Alicia's house. Okay answer is northwest 170 meters if you try to calculate the distance they have also asked what is the shortest distance between the houses shortest distance between the houses is direct straight line so if you try to draw this this is 90 degrees so this entire thing is 160 meters okay but this part over here it is actually 10 meters right so if this is 10 meters this triangle side what i'm going to write is a b and c okay so bc side is going to be 150 meters right and ab side is going to be 80 meters so by pythagoras theorem this comes out to be 150 square plus 80 square that comes out to be 170 meters now many of you might feel this is the answer okay but this southeast is like from alicia's house her friend's house is in the southeast okay this is south and east from alicia's house her friend's house is in southeast but if friend's house is at the in the center over here alicia's house will be in the northwest and they are asking the same thing in which direction is alicia's house from her friend's house so answer is option c don't make a mistake you don't even have to calculate this directly you get the answer over here in a certain code trivandrum is coded as this how is jamshedpur written in that code if you carefully observe you are not going to find any uh, link between t and o r and e and everything but if you observe second thing is that r is repeated in trivandrum and so is s repeated over here okay only one letter s is getting repeated so that means r is coded as s after r comes s that means plus one okay 
so if you carefully observe trivandrum okay after what i'm going to do is i'm going to write over here trivandrum okay and i'm going to write okay accordingly after t uh, after r comes s and after r comes s if i write after t comes uh, s t u okay there is a u over here okay after i comes j there is a j over here after v comes w there is a w over here after a comes b there is a b over here after n comes m there uh, after n comes o really very sorry m, m n o there is a o over here after d comes e there is a e over here after u comes v there is a v over here and after m comes n there is a n over here so image for every letter whatever is given we have to write the next letter okay and it is rearranged in any manner and then you can get the answer so for jamshedpur i'll write over here jamshedpur okay for jamshedpur the answer will be what after j comes k after a comes b okay plus 1 everything is plus 1 after m comes n s comes t h comes i e comes f d e p q u v r s okay so if you observe carefully is there a w there is no w over here okay so cancel this option out and this also there is a w cancel it out okay is there a j there is no j okay so this also gets cancelled out answer is option d see we'll check out f e q so f e q okay then v s k v i have s i have k i have b n t i b n t i six delegates p q r s n t and u plan for the dinner at a multi cuisine restaurant all the six delegates are from different countries and prefer different meals for their dinner q who is not from australia ordered french toast okay s is from south africa but did not order som tam okay now these conditions are given okay so what i'll do is i'll prepare a table okay this is p q r s t and u these are six delegates let's write whatever nations they are from okay and the food they like okay so now uh, q who is not from australia ordered french toast okay q is going to order french toast now i know for sure that q is not from australia so i'll write over here not australia okay not australia i'll write over here next s is from south africa s is from south africa i'll write s a okay but did not order som tam okay fine u is not from england australia usa now what i'll do is i'll write down the list of countries first was australia okay then i have south africa over here i have england over here i have usa over here i have spain okay because over here person from spain ordered seafood paella u is not from england australia or usa fine p did not order chicken palm and t did not order chicken rice fine r belongs to india so india is the sixth country over here r belongs to india i'll write over here india fine the person who ordered chicken palm is from usa r and s both did not order chicken rice so let's start now u does not now australia uh, is not there so okay india is already occupied and south africa is already occupied so now u is not from england from australia or usa that means u must be only remaining country is spain so u must be from spain right now the person from spain this is done person from spain ordered seafood paella so it has to be over here seafood okay i'll not write the uh, rest of the part i'll just write seafood okay next t did not order chicken rice fine and p did not order chicken palm right now r belongs to india this is already done q is not from australia ordered french toast this is done s is from south africa did not order som tam now s did not order som tam fine now the person who ordered chicken palm is from usa now chicken palm and usa that means nation and food is directly given so either it can be p okay chicken palm and usa or it can be t chicken palm and usa okay fine r and s both did not order chicken rice so chicken rice is not going to come over here and here okay no chicken rice here no chicken rice here also t did not order chicken rice right so chicken rice is not here chicken rice is not here chicken rice is not here that means chicken rice must come over here if chicken rice is coming over here okay definitely chicken palm which is there it should come over here and if chicken palm is coming over here this definitely has to be usa okay because the person who ordered chicken palm is from usa right 
Q is not from Australia. The only country remaining is this. So we, the question over here is which dish did the person from Australia order? It is chicken rice. Option A. A company's total estimated production capacity is distributed among four segments in the following proportions. 20% manufacturing, 25% mining, 25% electricity and 30% chemicals. Line graph shows the total estimated production capacity value rupees in lakhs for the company from 2001 to 2005. Bar graph shows percentage of actual achieved production of the company in each of the four segments from 2001 to 2005. Find the difference between the achieved production value of mining in 2003 and achieved to the achieved produ production value of manufacturing 2004. Now over here, we want achieved production value. What we have is actually estimated production value. Value means in rupees we want to find the answer. Okay. At estimated production value we have and we have percentage of achieved production. We never, we don't have achieved production value. So how to calculate achieved production value? So first we have to find out percentage of achieved production and then we have to convert it into rupees or better way or other way is that what is this total estimated production value if all the four segments are taken into consideration okay I'll solve it uh, one by one. So first I'm going to consider 2003 year okay in that I have to focus on mining fine because achieved production value of mining I want. First of all what is the total production value for 2003? total production total estimated production value okay this is estimated part this is not the actual that they are actually getting okay this was estimated total pro estimated production value in 2003 is 140 lakhs so i'm going to write just 140 okay this is lakhs in lakh rupees so i'll forget it i'll just write 140 this is the total estimated production now out of this total estimated production 25 percent has to be mining so 25% of 140 is going to be what mining section mining estimated value correct mining estimated value so what i have is 25% upon 100 into 140 that is one fourth of 140 that comes out to be 35 this is the estimated part of mining okay this much it is expected that mining should produce in 2003 right but actual production in 2003 of mining was what mining is the second okay mining was 60 percent okay it is it is this part it is 60 percent so actual production was how much actual production was 60 percent okay actual production was only 60 percent but 60 percent of what 60 percent of this 35 okay so that comes out to be 60 into 35 upon 100 so 20 into 5 and 20 into 3 5 into 7 that comes out to be 21 this is the achieved production value this is the actual production value okay this is in lakhs actually 21 lakhs okay this is the actual production value which is there for mining in 2003 so this is 2003 mining okay same way we have to go in for 2004 manufacturing production value of manufacturing so i'll write over here 2004 okay total estimated production total estimated production for 2004 is what uh, you can check out over here for 2004 it is 150 okay out of this 150 20 percent has to be what 20 percent has to be manufacturing so 20 percent of 150 that comes out to be 30 okay this 30 is what 20 per this 30 is actually estimated manufacturing so estimated manufacturing so i'll write like this right this much 30 lakhs is estimated manufacturing cap uh, okay that actually 30 lakhs has to be manufactured okay Our products were 30 lakhs has to be manufactured this is the estimated value but the actual 2004 actual manufacturing uh, production was how much it was only 70 percent you can check over here this is 70 percent okay so actual production was how much actual production i'll write over here actual production was actually 70 percent of this 30 lakhs so that comes out to be around 21 lakhs not around exactly 21 lakhs this is 2004 manufacturing okay actual production value okay actual achieved production value so we want the difference between the achieved production value of mining in 2003 and achieved production value of manufacturing 2004 which comes out to be 21 minus 21 is equal to 0 it is the same 
difference is zero answer is zero this is the answer okay zero lakhs is the answer in a fun competition held among managers of a company the competitors are required to show the skills in cycling and typing cycling is for 13 minutes typing is for 8 minutes the final score is calculated by multiplying the cycling distance covered in kilometers to the number of words typed by them some information about the six competitors is given below Madonna's cycling speed was 17 km per hour, both Diego and Cleopatra's typing speed was 36 words per minute. Both Hayden and Madonna's typing speed was 38 words per minute and Cleopatra's cycling speed was 16 km per hour. Hayden's cycling speed was 19.5 km per hour, which was 4 km per hour more than Rebecca's cycling speed. Diego's cycling speed was 1 km per hour less than Cleopatra's cycling speed. Rebecca's typing speed was 39 words per minute. Jake's cycling speed was 1 km per hour more than Madonna's speed, while his typing speed was 40.625 words per minute. If the cycling speed of Hayden becomes equal to the cycling speed of Jake, what will be the difference in their total scores? Now, there are 5 to 6 people given over here. Do not focus on anyone. Only focus on the people that we want in the question, Hayden and Jake. Okay. So, what I have is Hayden, I have Jake. So, this is cycling speed I am going to write over here and I am going to write how many kilometers have been covered. Then this is the typing speed I am going to write over here and then how many words have been written. Okay. And then I am going to write the total score. Now cycling speed of Hayden is how much? 19.5. Okay. Kilometers per hour. For Jake, the speed is how much? 1 kilometer per hour more than Madonna. Madonna speed is 17. Jake's speed is 18 kilometers per hour. Okay. So now typing speed of Hayden is what? 38 words per minute. Okay, 38 words per minute. It is given over here for Hayden and Madonna. And Jake's typing speed is 40.625. 40.625 words per minute. Now, what we want over here is the number of words typed. So, 8 minutes typing is going on. So, 38 into 8 comes out to be 304. Okay, the 304 words are typed. Same way, this into 8 minutes. 8 minutes typing competition is there. This comes out to be 325. Okay. So, we have to consider these two values for a final score. Cycling goes on for 13 minutes. Okay. This speed is, this, the now problem is what we don't have to consider this speed. Cycling speed of Hayden becomes equal to cycling speed of J. So, it has to be 18 kilometers per hour. Okay. Fine. So, now the kilometers covered in 13 minutes will be how much? Speed is 18 kilometers per hour. Okay. So, in a single, 18 kilometers are covered in one hour. So, in a single hour, 60 minutes are there. In a single minute, 18 by 60 kilometers are covered. Multiplied by 13 minutes. These many kilometers are covered by Hayden. Same speed is for Jake. So, for Jake also it comes out to be 18 by 16 to 13 minutes. Okay. This is number of kilometers covered in single minute. Okay. 18 kilometers per hour speed means what? 18 kilometers covered in one hour. That is 18 kilometers covered in 60 minutes. So, in a single minute, 18 by 60 kilometers are covered. Multiplied by 13 minutes. Now we want to find the difference in score. How do we get the total? You get like this 13, 18 into 13 divided by 60 and you have to multiply it with 304. Okay. Because uh, the final score is calculated by multiplying this kilometer distance and these words. Fine. These uh, double underlined which is there. And this is going to be 18 into 13 divided by 60 multiplied by 325. Don't multiply right now. What you are going to do is the difference in score is going to be what? By 60 into 325. But obviously this is bigger. Minus. 18 into 13 divided by 60 multiplied by 304. So, if you take 18 by 13, I'll write over here. 18 into 13, I'll take common divided by 60. It is going to be 325 minus 304. Okay. So, I'll solve it on this side. It is going to be 18 into 13 divided by 60. 325 minus 304 comes out to be 21. Okay. 3 into 7, 3 into 20. Okay. 2 into 10, 2 into 9. So, what we get over here is 13 tens are 130 minus 13 is 117. Okay. So, 117 into 7 we are going to get it is 819 divided by 10 that comes out to be 81.9. So, this is the difference directly that we have got. Okay. Answer is option C.